today is World Turtle Day 2019 and today we have to celebrate how many species of turtles do we have here on the ranch. I'm not even 100% sure how many I have. Everybody has been asking on the twin eggs and how the twin eggs are doing. And look at that little guy. Look at that little cute little dude. I've had this turtle forever. Her name is Woody. She's a wood turtle, obviously. All right, you guys, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today is World Turtle Day 2019, and today we have to celebrate all the turtles here on the ranch. So first off, what we are going to do is we are gonna start off into the incubator, into where the garage is at. That's where my incubators are at. And we have a few different types of turtles hatching here on the ranch. And then after that, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go show you guys all the different types of turtle species that I keep here on the ranch. And you guys better follow along and in the comments, you guys, how many species of turtles do we have here on the ranch? I'm not even 100% sure how many I have. I know how many I have in every single enclosure, but I don't know how many species we have here on the ranch. We have red ear sliders, we have side neck turtles, we have spotted turtles. I mean, we have all different types of turtles all around the world that live here and coexist and breed here on the ranch. So that's what we're gonna do right now. But first off, let's go see the baby turtles that are hatching right now. All right, you guys, so we are here inside of my garage, my little small little workspace as of right now because of the barn burning down but we're gonna have an amazing workspace coming soon once we get electricity and everything inside of that barn put those post notifications on because we are getting a lot of quotes a lot of estimates and a lot of different ideas and projects coming soon inside of that building but right now we are here with my enhanced water incubator and uh, i just read that off the little title of a fridge that i purchased before and i'm made this into an incubator and it's been working for many many years here on the ranch and has hatched out hundreds and hundreds of different types of turtles and tortoises from all around the world so first off let's open this bad boy up and let's see what's in it i keep my temperature at about 86 degrees but it's a little hotter here on the ranch today so it's at 87 degrees which is okay that's not a problem so of course like always we have a ton of african spur thighs hatching right here on the ranch look at this um Egg yolk right here drying up. That's a yolk sack. Look at that. It's insane. Look at that thing. That has to all dry up. Look at his turtle shell. He has no scoots right now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's funny. But look at that. Bunch of beautiful little tortoises hatching out. All different types of African spur thighs doing great. Just let them in here and stay in here for a few days. And then we're going to come down here. This is at the end of my egg laying season. We're still probably getting a few more different types of turtles that are still laying out there. But down here, we have a beautiful red foot tortoise right there sticking his butt out going backwards and that's a beautiful red foot tortoise we have some hatched ones that are as well inside of the patio that we can go see and then look at this right here you got another red foot right now if you guys seen on my instagram if you guys were following me on blake's exotic animal ranch i showed a little egg tooth of a tortoise before so right now he is breaking through the egg and he's gonna crack all the way around and then pop himself out and then look at this right here I can actually feel the tortoise as soon as I picked it up. It is wiggling inside of it right now. And right there, he put his first little peak hole right there. And he's going to take about a couple days to come out as well. But that's pretty awesome. Three young red foot tortoises hatching out. Everybody has been asking on the twin eggs and how the twin eggs are doing. To be honest, you guys, I still have them in there. Putting them across in my fingers. But I uh, think they're absolutely rotten and they're bad they're still in here they haven't broken or anything so i'm just gonna sit them there but as of it just looks like right there they uh they went bad they're rotten so we're just gonna leave them there and if they pop they pop but i'll just keep them there just for a little bit longer but i do not think there's anything in there as well at all but um something really really cool get out of the tortoises and all that what i love to hatch here on the ranch turtle species right here we have hondurian wood turtle eggs hatching out and look at that little guy look at that little cute little dude in and out of the egg it takes about a couple days for him to hatch out he is absolutely adorable we have another one right here that's completely hatched out dried up ready to go outside with the other turtles and raise up look at that little beautiful little dude so this right here is an hondurian wood turtle that we hatch here all the time on the ranch we hatch out these central american wood turtles another subspecies of them and also spotted leg wood turtles and what we're going to do right now 
So we're gonna go into their enclosure areas and I'm gonna go show you the adults of what they will look like. These guys are absolutely one of my favorite species of turtles to work with on the ranch. And that is something I would love to focus here on the ranches. All the different types of coras, mean all different types of box turtles, the Asian box turtles, and all different types of rhino clemmies, different types of wood turtles, all different types of wood turtles from all around the world. There's about nine to 10 species. I have about five species here on the ranch and there's a few more I need to get. I lost many of them in the fire that I had ready to go. That were the other species, but I do not have them anymore because we lost them in the fire. But we're gonna be able to get those back in a few months and it's gonna be absolutely amazing to work with those species here on the ranch again. So we're gonna go out there and go see all the adult wood turtles right now. All right, you guys, we are here on another section part of the ranch and this is one of the spots that I have a few species of wood turtles in here. So we're gonna enter inside of here and I'm gonna show you the Honduran wood turtle species, the parents of the hatchlings you just saw inside of the incubator. So let's come in here and I'm gonna show you guys these guys. All right. So inside of here, these are cages that I've made from a very, very long time ago. There's plants, they get a lot of shade, they get sun just a few times out of the day. They have water bowls and things of that sort that they go in, swim, and breed in. But um, definitely gonna be making a lot more brand new enclosures because I've learned a lot over the years. So you can come down over here real quick, and in here, there's some of them. We've raised up these little guys as hatchlings. Those are what you saw over there. They're all dirty because they're in the mud and in the dirt, but one of these guys are absolutely one of my favorite to be honest because look at their eyes Did you guys can see hold on let me pick it out a little bit look at those eyes blue eyes i mean they're absolutely gorgeous red skin i mean beautiful beautiful turtles right here this is a young male right here absolutely gorgeous and then we come over here and then i'm gonna grab you there you go this is a female right here a nice adult female so this is possibly one of the parents of the hatchlings you guys just saw but I mean, look at these guys. They're nice and dry. They like to live in the water and they like to live in the land. And this turtle right here, I think is a very awesome first beginner, good species of turtle in my opinion, because they stay small. They're, um, they like water, they like land, so they could go in either or, but they're half and half. So I like to give them a lot of land and they go in the water. But I mean, this turtle species is one of my favorite species out there. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you ultimate favorite of the rhino clemmies of these. There's four subspecies of these type and over there is the Central American wood turtles, another subspecies of these, and that is one of the first species of turtles that I've raised here on the ranch. So I'm gonna grab this girl right here. Her name is Woody. I've had her for over 14 years now, and I got her as a full size and adult. So she was probably a LTC, meaning a long-term captive animal, meaning that that animal most likely was captured from the wild a very, very, very long time ago, and I got my hands on her. I got her off of a pet store a long time ago, and she's been the same exact size ever since because she's an adult female. So who knows how old this female really is? And I got her a bunch of friends. She's in a very large breeding group now, and I can tell the difference from her right off the back as soon as I see her every single time. She's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna grab her right now, and I'm gonna show you guys this Central American wood turtle. This right here is one of my first turtles that I have ever kept here on the ranch my whole lifehood i've had this turtle forever her name is woody she's a wood turtle obviously and she's a central american wood turtle an adult female i mean she lays so 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 many eggs for me every single year she is absolutely amazing she's been in my hands for almost 14 years now and i mean i love this turtle this turtle is so cool but this is a central american wood turtle one of the first species of turtles i've ever hatched here are in my hands, like I've, that's the first turtle I've ever hatched before, before cicada, before redfoots, before any other type of turtle species, this was the first type I've ever hatched. And then I'm gonna grab a male for you real quick. So you see the size of a female, stay right there. We'll grab a male right down here. And right here is an adult male. They're a little bit smaller as you can see, but then I can tell you the difference right now. The tails are a lot longer and they're a lot smaller, the turtle size and then the females are more stubbier. Just like I said in other uh, videos before, they have the Hershey Kiss tail, and I mean, absolutely gorgeous turtles. They're obviously all dried up and dirty right now because they haven't been in the water. They don't wanna go in the water. They have their options, water or land, just like the other turtles I was just talking about. But amazing species. We're gonna move on to another species that I have here on the ranch as well. And so we're at another spot on my property, and right here, we have two spotted leg wood turtles, and these are another species I live, breed here on the ranch, another species of turtle that is very small, male and female. Males are always, most of the time, smaller than the females in this type for the rhino clemmies. And I mean, these turtles are absolutely gorgeous with the spotted legs just like that, that's why they call that. And then if you can see on their heads, they have the orange little peaks and dots on them. 
absolutely gorgeous 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 animals really really cool and i am actually breeding these guys here on the ranch as well we have a bunch of hatchlings over there i think i've talked about them before we can go show you guys in a sec but absolutely gorgeous turtles i have a nice decent sized group and another species of turtle that i really love here on the ranch that need help in the wild as well because from deforestation from the pet trade all different types of things that's why there's world turtle day the world turtle day is to help um show the world that there's turtles out there and that the turtles need our help and that these little guys are one of the most endangered species of animals in the whole entire world the reason why is because of global warming and because of global warming is making the temperature of the grounds change up and then the eggs cannot hatch so that's why captive breeding is helping these guys out a lot a lot a lot because in the wild there's really no more places for them to even live because people eat them people take them away from their natural habitats and then they they pass away because once they go in through all the shipments and driving and all that stuff, they don't even make it to where they're supposed to get to because they're just so stressed out. They get parasites, they get sick. So that is why it's really, really important to have captive breeding so that maybe, hopefully, one day we could release these guys back into the wild. But my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate goal with everything I do here on the ranch one day is to have my Noah's Ark here with all my animals and then in the future, 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 buy as much land as I can so that I could released a lot of my captive animals make them so i can release them back into the wild and then they can live the rest of their life in the wild with mother nature but that is the ultimate goal one day and world turtle day is today you guys will be seeing this video tomorrow but today is world turtle day and let's go see some of their babies as well guys we are here on the other part of the property i've said that a few times today but for today's post notification shout out is going to christine for today's post notification shout out is going to christine cameron she says, love your videos and love your name for the emus. Your videos are the best. Keep up the good work. I appreciate it, Christine Cameron. And if you guys want a positive comment, shout out. Put a positive comment down below to get shouted out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. I see you guys DMing me on Instagram, DMing me on Facebook, DMing me everywhere about shout outs. I go one by one and everybody one day will ever get a chance to get shouted out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. But right now where we are at is we just got finished off the Spotted Lake Wood Turtles. And right here we have three beautiful spotted leg wood turtles hatchlings that are doing very very well right now here in this little setup that i have for them and look at those guys look at the orange heads i mean they're absolutely gorgeous doing very very great these are going to be some holdbacks and then right here is another hondurian wood turtle that hatched out earlier that you guys saw look at that little guy look how cute he is so cute so adorable and they start off at that little quarter size half uh, 50 cent size right there and then they turn into those adults that are about four to six inches absolutely amazing animals here on the ranch put those post notifications on you guys give this video a thumbs up let's make this video hit 10,000 likes if you guys love turtles and tortoises for world turtle day 2019 i will see you guys in the upcoming video and peace out everybody i hope you guys enjoyed today's video here on the ranch